what's going on everybody welcome back and uh today we're at four states fair we got the duck 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 guy here <laughs> decided we was going to bring him up here to the fair this is his first time ever going to the fair he's talking about the ducks he saw quack, quack. that's what you hear the quack 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 either that or he's practicing for his new audition for the mighty ducks crew <laughs> he's pointing to that say hi hey. see he said hey but we're gonna go in here we're gonna show him around have some pony rides have some fun hi he's gonna have fun hi. i'm out of breath hi. i'm tired but we're gonna come up here so we can have some fun because i promised him i'd bring him up here and i keep my promises so we're gonna go in here he's gonna have some fun let's see what happens all right so we made it inside took us about two and a half minutes to go through the ticket booth gate area whereas opening day it took me about 40 minutes so that's uh that's pretty cool um they've got a little bit more stuff today than they had friday uh, a lot more stuff set up and I, i'd say that they would probably do that because it was opening day not a whole lot of people but we're gonna head over here to the animal exhibit so we can let the kiddo get a pony ride and see some animals. He loves them. But we're gonna come over and take a look at the tractors first. Over there. See the ponies? <laughs> Hi. 
I don't think it wants to come, buddy. <laughs> hey, look, the turkey. <laughs> Look, it's a turkey. Hey, look, over here. Don't stick your hand in there. Don't pick your hand. That's what we have for Thanksgiving. The donkey kid. Hey, this is a cow. Moo. See the horns? Baby. Yeah. He's the baby. And this is a donkey. Alright, so we just left the farm. That's what I call it, the farm. Kid got to pet some billy goats and look at bacon. Of pretty much what bacon looks like before it uh, becomes bacon. Uh, he got to see some ponies, did a couple of pony rides. He had fun. Um, so I think now we're going to go walk around and see what other exhibits they have. Um, he doesn't want to be strapped in, he wants to run around. Um, we're gonna try to see if they got the police and fire trucks set up so we can let him see all that. You ready? It's gonna be loud.
been riding some rides here. Uh, kids having some fun. He's tired. He's had a busy day. Daddy played him out. Uh, Megan just rode Tornado. We've been getting some off-ride POVs just walking around. I'm going to go uh, ride the Scrambler. And I'm going to see if I can get an on-ride POV. Uh, don't hold your breath. I don't have my, my grip yet. But uh, we're probably going to do that. And then uh, maybe take them into a fun house or something. But let's see how it goes. All right, so we just got off Scrambler. That's actually our first ride of the day, besides from the stuff I've ridden with Asher. Um, I almost started having fun. Aside from the fact that it wasn't fun. It was fun, but it's just not fun for me. But uh, I think we're gonna go get into some trouble. Plenty of cops here to do it, so uh, why the hell not? Alright, so true story, we uh, took the kid on the uh, helicopters here, and uh, I thought it'd be something he would enjoy, but uh, he started pitching and fussing and throwing a fit, and I'm like, I know he's obviously not freaking out about the ride, but he wasn't freaking out about it, he was pissed off because all the ride did was go like half a mile per hour. It was like super, super slow. So he started kicking the steering wheel and stuff. I'm like, kid, I know it's it's slow. This is how you know this kid has been to Six Flags, to San Antonio, to Sea World, and this guy does not like slow rides. And that's that's what he does when the ride sucks and he doesn't like it. That's what he does. And so we're grabbing funnel cakes and we're probably gonna call it, man. It's just not much here to do, you know, especially for him. He's already rode everything. We've been here about an hour and a half, and he's pretty much rode everything. I'm hungry, he's tired, she's tired. I've got to stay up all night and stream. So, I mean, it's there's just not a whole lot to do here compared to what he's used to and what we're used to. So, we're going to check out our funnel cakes. All right, man, we're dipping out. We're here for like two and a half hours. Uh, He had fun. He definitely had more fun than we did. What do you think about the scrambler? It's probably the most exciting thing here. Yeah. The drop tower blows. Um, everything here is just, it's all flat rides. So it's kind of. Mostly for kids. Yeah, it's mostly for kids. Uh, definitely not an enthusiast's dream to come to a local fair. But we figured we'd come up here and show you guys, and it gets out, gets us out of the house for a little bit. And, uh,. It was, it was pretty good to get out of the house and get some exercise and walk around a little bit. Uh, definitely not quite ready to go back to Six Flags yet. Um, I haven't really said anything publicly, but the, our April trip to San Antonio, uh, we're going to have to cancel it um, because of the diagnosis of uh, post-COVID syndrome or whatever. Uh, I'm going to be off work until about April 14th, until pretty much tax day. Um, so we're really not going to have the finances to be able to do it. Um, but our next trip will be in May, a month from when I go back to work. We'll be going to over Texas and Hurricane Harbor. Um, we're hoping by that time I've kind of got over the hump of all of this. We're just going to kind of chill out for the next month, month month and one week pretty much what it is um so we got five weeks until our next trip so we're just kind of going to take it easy i'm going to take it easy and kind of just we're going to be doing a lot of streaming on trovo so if you guys aren't following me there please go over there and hit me up and talk about anything you want to come over there and talk about roller coasters talk about how shitty this fair is be my guest no problem at all um aside from that this is uh technically it's on arkansas side and Arkansas is really not known for their uh, their thrills. They're known for their thrills for the kiddies, but a lot of the general public here, um, at least 75% of them, have never even been to Six Flags. Have never even ridden some of the stuff that we've done. And it's the same way with the kid. A lot of the rides we were taking him on, he didn't really like them because they weren't that fast. They didn't go high. A lot of the stuff that he looks for, that he's kind of grown accustomed to at Six Flags and SeaWorld and stuff, 
it, it's kind of been a downfall coming here because his standard of rides is is a little higher than what a local fare would be so it's, it's a big bummer that he couldn't enjoy a lot of the rides here um, he did look at me on a cup of them he's like dad what what's going on here so there is that um, but still I think the most exciting part for him was getting to ride a pony uh, that and Dumbo. yeah when he got to ride Dumbo you know, he liked that ride because it's kind of like Batwing at Six Flags over Texas um, it goes up and down and uh, those go a tad bit faster because they are carnival rides. They don't care about safety. They care about qual uh, quantity over quality. So, but I mean, overall, it was still a great time to bring the kid here. And it was good to be able to do something to get out of the house and spend some time with him. And that's what matters most. Um, like I say, we're going to go home, edit this video, have it prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. And we're probably gonna drop the kid off, get some pizza, and probably start start the good old stream up and kinda make myself get back on my sleep schedule. I do go back to the doctor in the morning um, to get the official word about this, this COVID long hauler clinic thing. Uh, so we're gonna find out some more information about that tomorrow. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter and stuff, just look in the description, bro. I've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that stuff is in the description below. Make sure you stop by and I'll keep you guys updated with that. Well, man, that's gonna do it for us here. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're new, smash the subscribe button and we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.